Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Goblin Stone, the RPG roguelite slash goblin colony manager. We are going to be going in here today to probably a full new zone. I think I need to get some weapons on some of these fools, but we're going to go into the hinterlands and make our way all the way up to the Golden Hollows, theoretically. At least the quest objective is to open the path, which makes it seem like we're going to today. So first things first, what do we got to do for weapons? Because I know we swapped out some guys. Uh, so you need something. We have to get a an Acolyte weapon going there. Acolyte weapon here as well. Sure. Gush Salter. Oh, I don't know if we have two. Um, do we have two Hunter weapons that are good? Oh, we sure do. Um, well... I don't know if I want the 20% uh, chance to bleed or just the 13 power. I think I'd rather have the 13 power. This one is obviously better. So, I don't know. Yeah, two attacks that can pierce. I mean, sure, whatever. Let's give it a look. In we shall go to see what we can get up to here today. Let us open the path and see if we can maybe open up another big section of the game. The last time we entered a new zone, we got the ability to find uh, seven statted goblins. We got a whole heap and helping of new perks showing up, new like s visual styles of goblins, a new class. I don't know. I don't know what's in store for us as we enter this new zone, but we'll see. No intro. Okay. Every attack has a 20% chance to bleed. One really big note as well is the game got like a big hotfix patch uh, either this morning or yesterday morning, which is quite nice, uh, needed. I think we'll go up here. Quite nice and needed. Should fix a whole lot of like crashing, like some, you know, bugs that we have run into. I'll give you a little upgrade there. As well as like, you know, progress loss stuff of that kind of nature that some people were having. Uh, and they have also noted that later in the week, they're going to be doing another patch that potentially fixes up some like some other issues, which, hey, uh, I'm uh, obviously going to be down for any patch like that. I'm in for. But what do we got here? Hello, stinkers. We do have the double hunter uh, pathway now. So we have that to think about. Uh, I'll hit you with an intercept on the big boy. I feel like that makes sense. All right, we have we have a divine fury. So it's not obviously the upgraded one that's going to hit both sides. That being said, I do still think it's going to be good. I think getting an entire halfling out of the way is a really nice get. Yup, I like it. Yup, I like it. Good. Yep, I like it fine. Knockback with... Nope. I was going to say knockback would have been really nice. Obviously going to come in and take that hit for us. I'm not going to chance it, though. He does have a bleed. So it therefore could be. Oh, I hope that one of the things that was fixed was not the, uh, the double strike. That being said, the developers have now stated, uh, unless it's been fixed. Nope. Uh, yeah, it's not been fixed. They, at, at some point, changed it to redraw abilities once per excursion, but never changed the phrasing from once per battle. Um, so that makes this, I gotta be honest, that makes this really bad. Like, this whole every five mind points get blank thing becomes kind of, yeah, just kind of bad. I was hoping that it was a bug, because that would have been better. <laughs> I would I would have preferred that it was a bug and it was supposed to work the other way. Because it feels relatively weak, I'll admit. But hey, it's all good. We have the retaliate, but it's not going to really matter. I think it's basically intercept or nothing. I think we'll intercept and then maybe we'll get ourselves a heal. Oh, we go first. Swiftman, I mean, we're probably not going to get the kill. Crit of four. All right. So we don't want to use up our 
one reroll for the entire outing <laughs> in this first fight, which is what I've kind of, I kind of come to the conclusion that that's what it was. But again, I was hoping I was wrong. It would have been, uh, it would have been better to be wrong. And hey, I hope, I hope they change it to be the way that it reads right now, because that feels more logical to me. Because, yes, I know, like, for the classes where you get the power, it's really nice, but it makes it, um, I'm not going to say useless on other classes that way, because it's just, it's just not very exciting. Whoa. Immediate fuse. So we could go for the retaliate, but is that even going to be anything? This guy does magic damage. Like, they're gonna both hit up there. So I guess I'll just go for the intercept, because I think this one does physical damage. Ooh. Blocked. Nice. That was convenient. It's like, when am I... Uh, when am I gonna use these rerolls now? I guess I don't fully know. gonna be a hard sell what do here I don't know I could redraw and heal like and metagame it a bit but I'll just get you out of the way because otherwise the bleed might not proc before you go. And this way we can go for the uh, the double striking guaranteed kill. Works for me. That should still hit twice. I hope it... <laughs> oh, you didn't leave a... They didn't leave a sack. There is a chance that there's a boss. I kind of... I kind of doubt it. it my guess is it's going to be just like a big normal elite or whatever. I don't really need more gold, so four power to two weapons sounds fine to me. Unless we find some reason why we need a lot of gold. We go Leer Duster. Imbued with fell magic. Not doing the 19, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, events, we have a better chance at events than we used to, so I feel like an elite into an event into a guru feels pretty good to me. Surprise? No. Okay. Some retaliates here feel like they would go a long way. Go with Divine Fury. I think I'm just not going to reroll and just hope for a knockback, which we did not get. Yeah. Is it going to be worth purifying? 14. It's probably worth purifying. 14 damage is going to be a lot. And since it's so early in the fight, I do think we're going to get the full shebang. This might just happen again. Okay. Burp greater. You know what? Yeah, thank you. That's worth it. Oh, a bleed as well. Beast Bane Arrow is fantastic. Hmm. Same deal. Let's just go for some more retaliates here. It's worth it for the kill. It does mean we're not going to go get very many retaliates here, but if I could get a uh, an intercept or something, that'd be great. Guard. Works for me. Do we retaliate twice? We do. After a very weird uh, pause. <laughs> um, Is my other hunter going to go? I feel like that just makes the most sense. 32 damage. I 
can't even get him with the freaking final strike. That movie, it's just so weird. I don't know. If it wasn't for the uh, the combo with the Acolyte, I would not keep the Bandit. I just don't think it would make any sense. Okay. Let's see. Can we... Uh, neither of you have the heal. So I'm not gonna bother. Is entirely necessary. A decent harvest. Okay, we could get a heal that way. Might as well wait. Yeah, event wise, if it's based on stats, we're great now. S Hunter can scavenge for a weapon. Sure. There we go. Temporary 33 power. Okay, so there's a campfire, which leads me to believe there is actually going to be a fight. So we'll obviously go for Divine Fury. It's a very good upgrade, makes it so it hits both targets. Uh, I do like Scold. Gives it so uh, there's a power upgrade. What's the Retaliate do? It's another hit, right? Yeah. I've been saving my reroll, so I think we can set up this big blast. Mm -hmm. So we'll do our one tussle here, and then we'll heal up after if we need to. I say if we need to because there's a chance on a non-elite fight that we come out with more health than we entered with. <laughs> it's, it's, of course, weird, but possible. Stop it. Um, that, uh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad and I didn't like it. We'll heal you up even though you're... Would you stop? Would you guys hit the things that you say you're going to go for? Just for a second. Um... So it can hit it'll hit both sides. It's one dead, two almost dead. Would you stop? So this is my wildman. It's got the uh, the 30 whatever damage one, I guess. Hit the retaliate. Maybe we can get lucky. I don't know if battle cries are worth it. I I don't know. I feel like it has to be upgraded to be worth it. It's an almost multi strike, please. Nope. Hmm. We could just get a kill. We get lucky with a crit. Imagine? <laughs> Imagine? We have an acolyte. I, but I would have to. It's not. It's not worth it. Because we don't know what you're gonna do. Yeah, it's not worth it. We, we go for the kill. A swift mend, I don't think we end up... We could end up healing, I guess. Because we do have the two, we could just cycle through. I just don't care is the thing. Yes, there's sparkles. No, I don't care about the sparkles. If I just happen to see the sparkles while I'm on it, great. Otherwise, stop telling me I'm missing sparkles. I do not care. <laughs> they, they, it, it's just, it's a pacing issue, you know? It's a pacing thing with the game where it's just like, I don't want to be slowed down even more than I already am. 
All right. Uh, it's only ten bucks. I feel like it's worth it. I think it's worth it because there's a decent chance there is a boss here. Chance for knockback. Who are we most likely to multi-strike with? Probably one of you two. You're more likely to kill the thing with your hit, so I'll go for... I'll go for this hunter. There's an opportunity that, like, it would make more sense with the, um... The Acolyte going for the AoE attack, but... I don't think it's a large issue. Didn't see where even got this. Oh, I didn't... Okay. Please, no... Okay. No ambush. Power up. Very nice. Feeling great. Feeling great. Moment by the warm flame. Let's go, squad. It is weird to, like, for the first time, not have a raider. So, it's just the fact that it was a campfire into the arrow that kind of has me feeling a little bit unsure about this, but who knows? There's where the key goes. Why put a campfire there? <laughs> That's so misleading. That's so misleading. Okay. I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we get to move on to the next zone, but I'm just so confused. I was ready for a fight. A strange manner of creature descends upon goblins, interrupting their midday. Oh my god. Work. Actual new type of monster? Or like, no, like, uh, NPC? Upon closer inspection, it appears to be a harried gnome in great distress. This, of course, is quite a pleasant surprise to the goblins, since the gnolls of the hollows have long been presumed extinct. Their smiles quickly fade as the gnoll emissary begins his grim tale. Adventurers who once ravaged the hollows have now returned. Alas, with their freeing of the orcs, these adventurers stir once more with fresh game to hunt. This new breed of adventurers, clad in iron armor, inspires terror in the gnolls. For now, his people remain concealed in their final bastion, hidden from danger. All right. Oh. Chapter 4. Audience with a rat. Finally, the cheese will start to make sense. Okay, so we, we built something else down here. Follow the frantic knoll out of the hinterlands into the gold hollows. We may need to get something else up there. Nope! Mystic! A goblin mystic has wandered into your campgrounds. This spellcaster uses mystic arts to deal and prevent damage. Okay. Makes up for its weak constitution with powerful use of battle magic. How best to sort the distinguished... From the disappointing. For every three mind points, gain a power. Oh, you're a mind? A mind mage. Interesting. So you're not a spirit class. There's some eights, but obviously they are modified eights. Fit, skeptic, ruthless, beast avert. Nothing new there, but that's also not surprising. I, I mean, obviously going to recruit that. Mystic's guild now available. That being said, I shouldn't be able to build it until I break something else. And I'm going to be honest, I think it's just going to be the shaman's guild again. Yep. Uh, Mystic's guild. We're going to go ahead and make that for next time. Will we bring the mystic with us is the question, because I can't can't be honest uh, and say, like, ooh, he looks looks like a good mystic. So, let's see, you're at three souls, two souls, two souls, two souls. So you're, you're all mostly at two souls. Do we have another bandit? 
I might want to make one. But that being said, um, I'm going to sneeze, first of all. There we go. <laughs> it, it happened. Um, hmm. Can we, like, combine three? Does that give us enough room? No. Combining three still doesn't give us enough room. For another thing. Four might. It might take all the way up to four for us to even get another space. But at that point, it's like, whoops, I, I don't know. I don't think we need to care. But uh, yeah, so we obviously are down a, a, a guild. So... What I kind of would like to do is get another bandit. Which I think... I think Ferocious and Thick Blood is about right. Though I kind of want to try out... Oh god, I have to, I'd have to unlock it though. Right? This is the raider. Yeah, I do want this, but I'm, I don't really feel like spending five for it. Motivate is maybe a tempting thing. I think that Furious Cleave has proven to be more valuable uh, than Final Strike would, but there, it's a maybe. I could see Motivate being worth it. Let's try it. More than, more than battle cry? I definitely want scold. I could do this. We could try that out, I guess. I don't know. That seems fine. Apparently I have I do have another bandit. Oh, perk perk choker. So let's go ahead and uh we're going to Retire you. This one's adventuring days are done. And get Perk Choker in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. The question is, what are we replacing? Um, I, I guess let's take a look at what the Mystic can do. First things first. All right, Mystic Bolts. Hello. Oh, there we go. Uh, shoot three to five bolts at random foes, doing 30 each. It's, it's pretty good. 150% damage as magic can't be used on the first turn. Freeze a foe, which is a stun that I thought made it so they could get crit deal 60 then 30 then 15 to the front foes what is chili skin grant an ally chili skin that will freeze the next two foes that attack it instantly swap places with an ally and you both get slowed do 30 percent to all foes gain immunity to damage both types of damage but become incapacitated for a second that's a really wild. That's straight up there's ice block in here. Uh, so we could theoretically sort this out, even though we don't have the Mystic Guild already, which is kind of nice. But I kind of like that setup already. I don't like the seven power. That feels a little stank to me. I do want to know, do we have better weapons in our shop now? Shaman, Warlock, and Acolyte. Hunter, 18 power! 15 power and some armor. Mystic and Shaman, 13 power. Jesus! I don't have enough for my armory. Okay. Well, there's definitely some crap I can get rid of. Like, I don't need that. I don't need that. Clearly that, that, that. Clearly I don't need those. Just what's needed. 
All right, uh, 15 power and five armor. 18, like I'm obviously getting that for my hunter. For what, my second hunter though? Like, am I keeping two hunters? It's the extra five power and it gives the five armor. So they're the same amount of power and this one has the armor on it. Uh, so this is 11 power. So we're gonna get this for our mystic. Then uh, we'll get that, I guess, for like our acolyte. Just what's needed. The rest of it's a little bit meh. I mean, being able to eleven power, maybe maybe that's better. No, no. I want some high power moves for the mystic. All right, so who is getting subbed out? I did just upgrade the hell out of you guys. You're at the top tier upgrade, which means you're doing just silly numbers. You're not at, you don't actually have 28 power. That's a lie. That's just because you have ferocious. No, wait, you actually have that? What? Why would you actually have, why do you, have, why would you have that? That doesn't make sense. Why would you have that and you have 15? That doesn't check out. <laughs> the math the math is not adding up here on why you would have that at all. Okay. Hyper confused, uh, but oh well. So I think I'll probably I'll probably dip out a an acolyte but that does mean that we're a lot less likely to get the big old wombo combo i don't even know if we want to dip one of them out yet maybe we want to wait but i'll bring in fate shiner sure i'll give it a give it a look 15 what else did we get i don't think we got any wait 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 we got a uh we got this would I rather have it on you or the Acolyte? Probably the Acolyte. Which moves do I have right now? I have Motivate, Scold. It would help with Battle Cry a little bit, but I think I will put it on you. All right, let's get the hell out of here so that we can get the hell back here. I didn't do any breeding though. I do want to make some good um, potential Mystics. Requires a hardy lineage. Which is a slightly different thing than what we've been working on. So we want to basically... We basically just want to breed more hunters, which is good. Ferocious. Ferocious and... Oh, we want open mind. And open. Pulp warmer. We, but yeah, we, the nice thing is we do just basically want to make... Whoa. Make more uh, hunters, which we have the most of. Open mind, ferocious, cool. Open mind, ferocious, cool. Open mind, ferocious, cool. Well, we probably don't need to make even more. So I guess the question is then, like, well, what are we? What are we lacking now? The answer is nothing. Wait, you're the one we have. We have Fair Lisper? We do. Okay, so I guess I will try to make a, a, our perfect tank, which is almost you. I want Thick Blood and Defensive. Seven, oop, I saw some fours in there. We want 777 with Thick Blood Defensive. That's the whole thing. Uh, already know. Just don't even consider it. Why are your backup stats so trash? Alright, out we go. We're leaving those other ones because uh, I am waiting until I'm going to make them into mystics. New zone! Here we go! Is this the last zone? It looks like it's the biggest one, for sure. 
And uh, as far as I'm aware, there's a lot of bosses left. These places are unknown. Power up by two. Oh, new music. Definitely, we are going to be looking at a new goblin here. We might find an eight. Like, I wouldn't even think it'd be unlikely. Fine. Clearly, we're not in the new zone yet, because it's not very golden yet. I do like the music, though. All right. Come on, baby. Five, seven, three. Hot blood. Freeze resist. That that leads me to believe uh, that's going to become relevant. Tough body. Body up by two. Sure-footed. Knockback resistance. I don't really care about the knockback resistance one, but uh, body up by two is is one that we've been looking for and it's a green one okay it's a, it's a green it's not even a red a red buff um interesting we're taking you for sure not with us but that's obviously the right call because you have m more perks that i'm interested in Probably going up. I have a feeling we're gonna like, ooh, yeah, just be running into some familiar stuff in familiar areas for now, and then when we're oh no never I mean there's already a new guy, and then when we're done, tempted adventurers that's supposed to be like a, <laughs> I mean the Lord of the Rings references have been, um, already obvious. Ooh, he's sped up as well. We can motivate someone to the front by doing just six damage to him. It's an interesting thing to, like, think about whipping that guy up. It's also worth noting, uh, you don't even have... Oh, you do have the Mystic bonus. Interesting. Oh, but you don't really. You do? It, three mind points gain a power. Why is it? Why is there? But there's a one. Oh, like you're probably not getting the life power, I guess. I don't really know. All I know is I definitely should have turned off brute with you at the very least. But I wasn't really planning on keeping that jabroni. So apologies. Don't die. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. 942, frostbite, freeze them. So there's yeah, there's the freeze resist. It's it's been on there the whole time. Yeah, you're not a good one. Oh, resist the freeze. Like, we'll, we'll make a better Mystic later. Very, very soon. And I feel like it's going to be... I feel like it's going to be pretty uh, pretty good. Educated guess. I'm not going to waste my moves quite yet. I'll waste, I'll waste them soon. Possible knockback would be nice. No dice. Ooh. The knockback is a little annoying, but yep, because they are going to absolutely well <laughs> get bodied by it. Uh, Astral Flame works really well here. Goes through the armor. Bye bye! Goblins of a very So yeah, the question is... I 
I think let's go up. I'll grab a little bit of a of a buff here. What the heck? Oh, come on! Remove this! Hey, the, the patch later this week. Remove this. Remove this trash. Frostbite is interesting. You have 40% frostbite resist? Fine. I'll just go with the big boy damage then. Hmm. It's fine. Motivate. You have the Divine Fury. Come on. Aw. Oh, bug might have been fixed. We could whoosh somebody into the front. I don't think we necessarily want to. Yeah. What I anticipated there. Uh, Boy, it's a lot of damage. But we're going to be fine, so we might as well, like, cover our bases here instead. Dude, really? Okay. Oh, my. Oh, I think, I think the bug's fixed, which is a bummer because otherwise we would be done here. Uh-oh. That bleed is going to be nasty if we do not um, finish this off real fast. Crit, please. No! Let's go! Let's go! It's so small of a mission. I'm gonna just do this. Should I? Meh. Sharpen their blades. They will soon need them. Three percent chance to fail on the first. The fact that there even is a chance to fail is surprising. Nice. Understandable. I don't care too much if the uh, the mystic ends up dying, but I'd prefer not because I like I am obviously gonna replace them with a much better mystic. Truthfully, I probably shouldn't have even brought them. I was just curious. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I do miss having two acolytes for that reason right there. Like being more likely to get the combo. Feels like if I'm not having two, I don't know if it's fully worth it. Four times three to five. I'll just go for, like, a, a very large blast. Ooh, we got the freeze, too? Yeah, that that was going to hurt. We knew that was going to hurt. Beast Bane Arrow, I'd love to get you out of the way. Bye-bye. So long. Exceptional skill. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, you do, you. Armor up. Go for an attempted stun here. You're going to be getting hit anyways. I don't... I'm intercepting somebody. I'm intercepting green slime, which doesn't exist anymore, but I can't use it because I'm technically still intercepting. That sucks. Good chance to stun, or we could go for the reroll. See, this is the thing. Now it's like... Oh, shoot. I don't know that this is necessarily better. Ooh. Well, okay. A bold attack. 
Lol. What? It triggered my counterattack, but it didn't do anything. Let's try again? No, it triggered it and it did damage base. That makes sense. It's doing damage based on my armor, which is currently zero. That's why. That that checks out. It's annoying, but it it's not a bug. It's not a bug. Love it. You kill on either of them. Sayonara. Excellent strike. Vile critics. Wait, okay, so we have like a normal elite fight at the end. Gotcha. Uh let's just grab something here. We might get some healing. Maybe we'll get some materials. Of course! Cause why not waste my time? Why not waste my time? Uh. Oh, boy. Okay. More likely to be able to kill you, kill you before your turn, and boy, I was right. The annoying thing is I might get stunned here. Okay. That's a lot of bleed. I was hoping to uh, do that to burst through here. A bit more. Let's try this. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. It's is it a little dangerous? Sure. But that is also very good. I don't care about you. You die, you die. We'll just make another one. At its best, it's it could be worse than blast. It could be ever so slightly better. You know what? Let's just do it for... Okay. Just for getting to see what it's all about. I'm not going to purify and I'm not going to heal. I'm not going to waste the time with that. Alright. Armor up. Power for Hunter? What was the... It was... 18 power and a chance to knock back is... Oh, it's not better that... Well, we gave that one the bleed, so never mind. Just give you a million armor. Same deal. I'd care the least if the mage dies. We know for a fact we're dismissing them the second we get back. Don't tell them that. Oof. I want to get my first surprise round of the day, please. Thank you. It's a good one to get it on. There's two Boromirs. And I don't get the retaliate here. That's a shame. That is a quiet shame. Oh, that's... That is not a crying shame. Part of me wants to try and get the halfling captain out of the way. Instead here, I do feel like it could be good. Take a random. Nice. I was going to say, either the back line is what I would prefer there. Like, it's not that these guys are um, going to be free of annoyance. But just removing the back line from the equation entirely is really nice. Chances, more chances of bleeding. 
chances of activating the bug as well, which we we didn't, which is fine. It's understandable. Hey. Um, who's the one with the? That one. Get up here. Yeah, that was my question. Is like, does it go beyond the uh, through the armor or not? Let me crit in there. Ooh, baby. It's quite good. It's quite it's quite good. Asterisk. I'll tell you, I'm definitely missing rattle. In a way. The retaliate is like sometimes kind of tough to actually activate. Uh, Frontline 18. Eh, that's fine. I'll waste my time a little bit, I suppose, but it's fine. Bonk. Critical one. C critical one. You delete this man. Yeah, I feel like the um, six is damage pulled them in the front. I think that could end up being good. It is risky. I feel like I would maybe want to run a second healer to go with it, though. Which, the question is then, what do I drop? And the answer is, like, what? Second hunter, since we can do, like, the, the whip pull for the one hunter anyways? I don't know. I don't know. The bandit's such a weird one. I, I like that it's not super cut and dry how to utilize it. It's got a couple weird intricacies. It has some moves that seem terrible. But upgrade very well? It's odd. Hello? Only the keen Any eights? Welcome. I wouldn't be surprised if we can't find that stuff there. Okay, hold on. Check the merchant. We are going to absolutely be looking for some bangers. Uh, 14 power with a 20% chance to stun. Fifteen power. 17. I mean, another 17 power one of these seems good. But we can just get up to, like... What's the best raider thing? The raider stuff is a little bit less strong on average. It's not bad, though, but I'm probably, I'm probably not using the raider. I'll buy it anyways. Just to have it in case we change our minds. On using said raider. Need fibers to upgrade this, which is a power per two. I mean, like, upgrading that stuff is going to get pretty good. It's got to get pretty good. Requires a hardy lineage. Any Crow Duster, welcome. Sock Dagger. Welcome. That feels like a thief name. An appropriate vocation. One Plater. Now, there we go. That's... That is up there as well. So, I did just get a new... That new guy. I would like tough body. On, like, my tank. But you don't have a seven in spirit, so... Thick blood. So thick blood's a blue one, right? Needs new no. blood. Wait. Okay, thick thick blood is green. So we're looking for a good red one. We could go for we could go for brute. We could try and go for a tough body brute and give them a stinking like I mean They could have up to could they theoretically get eleven? Unlikely we're gonna with new life. <laughs> I was gonna say it's good. Oh 
Just a natural eight? Hubba hubba? Mint lumber? Where did this freaking eight come from? Okay. Oh. Okay. There's an eight. There is an eight, man. Uh, Mint lumber is my new man. We're going to go ahead and uh, retire you. We're probably going to retire our... Oh, that, none of those got to three. I think I'm just getting rid of you. Well, I might as well retire you. They laid down their weapon for a well-earned rest. Okay, uh, let's go for a wand plater just because that the name makes a lot of sense. Uh, and I'll add just, whatever, add toil hunker for a sec. I don't know where that eight come come from. Don't know where the eight come from. <laughs> But I'm here for it. Eleven body. Pretty silly. Pretty silly. Pretty, pretty silly. What is the level of the uh, guard skill? Is it still one? No, it is two. Two armor per three body. I mean, like, that's a pretty big difference, man. Mint lumber, welcome. Okay, we got one plater, cold gather, still at two, perk choker, obviously, yeah, you're going to be the one. Oh, yeah, I don't mind this, uh, but you should be way better now. You have 11 power uh, compared to... A tranquil home for goblins in the twilight of their lives. Oh, there's bull filler. Oh, God, I don't even, I don't even really remember. Fate Shiner versus six power. So it's a pretty noticeable and it's still and it's only a tier one. So that's going to be way better. Way better. We'll gather. Dude, what a legend mint lumber. You are going to be unstoppable. You have 12 free armor? Okay, you don't have, um... Mm. It's still not better than defensive, though, is it? All things considered, it's it's not better than defensive. To have Brute. Two body gives us, like, a little bit more HP, I guess. But I would rather turn that off and get, and get Brute. Uh, brute, wow. Defensive. So, I think I'm in the market for tough body. Yeah, tough body defensive is just it's just better cuz tough body is brute with no downside, but I'm I'm down I'm down to play with this uh regardless. All right. Uh that being said, let's try and get eight spirit goblins to be our new standard, right? Going to be a little bit uh, all right. Um, be looking for defensive because I think starting with that makes sense. Uh oh, do I have a do I have a seven with defensive? Oh yeah. All right, I'd like a seven seven. The, the dream is a seven seven eight, with tough body and defensive. Is it is it likely? Probably not, but it could. And it did. <laughs> that was that was fast. Menfolk avert. Uh, an open mind, ferocious seven, naturally seven seven eight, is quite good. I'm gonna make you my. You can be my, a mystic as well. Sure, I can't believe I got two seven seven eights right away there. That's quite nice. There's nothing wrong with you. Six 
Pirates can fuel a strong legion for them. But me? Alright, uh... I got your tough body... In... I, I, I got it in the in the mix, so you're, you're done now. Um, now it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So yeah, we do only have seven... Seven sevens and higher now, right? Foil Honker... Can be, um... You were, you were great. I can't believe, like... I got you and I was like, oh my god, we got the freaking God Goblin. And then just immediately... Just how quickly stuff started getting, like... <laughs> improved it was just staggering to me. Uh, we're gonna take you as... Wait, no, we're not taking you at all. We're not taking this one. Let him live a carefree life. Peep Mauler. Free from war. Wait, we're not taking you at all either. Your stats are terrible. They're free now to live a life of their own. You. You I want. Uh, tough body defensive. Obviously, yeah, you're, you're just... The... You're the perfect tank? Uh, for me right now? And then Open Mind Ferocious, you are a, uh... You're a better... I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I will make you a Mystic, just to try and show off the Mystic more. Uh... Man. I guess... Oh, wait. Wait, you have you have the same thing? Wait, are you guys you guys are the exact same? Ferocious open mind, ferocious open mind. What do I what was I thinking? Oh, lack lurker. Seven, yeah, seven nine eight. You're just you're just better. Not. Maybe not by much. Every three points above the base of four. So it should be irrelevant, but we might as well keep these ones like more in the in our the front of our mind, in the front of our pool. I think that just makes the most sense. Except for the fact that we could lose them. If it's if it's useless but we could lose them, then we don't want to do it, right? Yeah, let's think about it that way. If it's not serving them in combat, we might as well keep them to improve another character in which that might be more useful aka like an acolyte or something like that hell we could even turn you into an acolyte would probably make more sense an appropriate vocation. yeah I think that makes that makes more sense because you, you get power out of that uh, but you also don't have the right you don't have the right perks for that. All right, it's it's whatever. You're you're gonna, we're gonna keep you because a seven seven eight is is obviously just really good. We'll we'll try and combine you with something that gives us good perks for a uh, for an acolyte. Obviously, that's just the logical thing to do. Mint lumber, what a what an absolute legend. But uh, clap molter is. Probably better. Defensive is just is just better. It gives us five armor instead of getting two two body, giving us. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if it works at a half interval or not. If it doesn't work at a half interval, it gives us nothing. But yeah, this is better. All right, cool. We'll solve the weapon stuff tomorrow. Alas, alas, a lot has happened. That is that. And that is going to do it here for today, man. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue Lace more every single day. If you'd be sad to see the series go, gotta let me know in the forum comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.